You bought a truck yesterday? Yeah. I just bought a truck too. <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog and thank you for tuning in. A lot of you have been asking what has been going on with Tomato. Well, as you can see, the interior is a little seshed. We got everything on the exterior done that I wanted to do. And next on my dream Subaru build is to do the interior. So I got all new interior. I got door cards, I got rear seat delete. I got new seats, I got a half cage there. All that's going to be installed today before we take her to Dino. And if you remember on Poop Turd, may she rest in peace, I put Ken Block's Jim Connor tune on her. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> and that was probably one of my favorite tunes I'd ever done, thanks to delicious tuning. So we were going to be taking her back in order to throw the same nasty tune onto her. Now there is there is one thing, there's one problem that I am running into, and that is a trigger issue. The card dies. It's almost like timing is wrong, but I spent a lot of time with Bill Remote. We're struggling to figure it out. Timing is fine. Everything is good. The car just doesn't want to start and it dies and it says there's a bad crank position sensor, although there isn't because I've replaced it now twice, but she runs fine on the stock ECU. Whenever I plug in the aftermarket ECU, she doesn't want to run correctly. So I don't know. Before I get started with the interior, Sandy himself <laughs> bought another truck. <laughs> Somebody put some shit on my tree. <laughs> oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Just uh, trimming my tree like you guys should be trimming yours at home. So with that said, I would love to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Manscaped. Christmas came early this year because I just got gifted the new performance package by Manscaped. Let's check it out. Accessories, boxer briefs, the lawnmower 4.0, crop reviver ball toner, and ball deodorant. Look, no one wants to spend the holidays with the Yeti that smells like a dead rat in the AC system. So give yourself the gift that keeps on giving and make sure you keep yourself groomed and clean. Manscaped is here to do just that with the world's first all-in-one men's grooming kit that has you covered from head to toe, literally. The Lawnmower 4.0 waterproof cordless trimmer is built with advanced skin safe technology, which helps reduce nicks and cuts on your sensitive areas. It has this cool LED light, which is really helpful for grooming on those cold, dark winter nights. Here's a stock and stuffer for you. Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray. These are game changers, so I've heard. New to the collection is the Weed Whacker Nose and Hair Trimmer. And let me tell you, every man should have one of these. There's probably nothing more unattractive than nose or, in my opinion, ear hair. Don't be that guy. In addition to your products for your face and body, they now have your mechanic hands covered with a new and improved Shears 2.0 Luxury 6-piece stainless steel nail kit. Can't open it. Can't get it, but... these tools to their toolbox. So with that said, go to manscaped.com and use promo code AMELIA for 20% off your order plus free shipping. Again, that is 20% off plus free shipping with promo code AMELIA at manscaped.com. Link is in the description below. Your jingle balls will thank you. Now, let's get back to the video. You bought a GMC. See, he bought a GMC 1500 single cab short bed. How does it feel? Welcome to the dark side. I guarantee you though, that was the quickest that truck's ever been on that trailer. <laughs> I'm actually really excited for the plans that Sandy has for this truck. He picked this up, I won't say for how much, but he got a smoking deal on it. She's a little beat around the edges, but you know, 1500 GMC single cab short bed, uh, single cab short bed. You kind of got a thing for single cab short beds. So if this was available, I wouldn't have bought that. I would have bought that. Oh, that's a bold statement. <clears throat> So, so you're gonna sell that? Hell no, I love that thing. <laughs> you bought a daily for your daily for your daily for your daily. Yeah, and this is my daily hauler. <laughs> and I have a new daily coming in two days. That's right. <laughs> right off the bat, you're gonna notice that Sandy has taken the wrap off of his F-150. He liked the gray better, and honestly, I don't disagree. He's not on the wheels right now because those are obviously the drag racing tires. He's on the street tires, and uh, I, I don't mind the gray. But we got a long day ahead of us, you guys. Let's go ahead and get started on unboxing this interior so I can show you exactly what the plan is for the Subaru. 
I've been sitting on these parts for too long now and I'm really excited to get them installed and finally finish tomato. Everything is unboxed so that you can see. We have six overcrest rally, rear seat delete, rear seat delete, the back, uh, a couple other side pieces, and the door cards. We have an auto power half cage, and none of this is sponsored, obviously. I just want to support the Subaru community. Uh, six overcrest rally uh, back cover for the rear seat delete will probably need to be cut a little bit in order to fit those back pieces of the half cage. We have seat bracket and sliders, and I'm so excited to show you these seats. We got some Brid bright red seats to match the bright red, looks orange on camera, Subaru. I, it, it says Brid, but is, is it Brid or is it Bride? I've always called it Brid because that was like the JDM thing to say, but it's not the Brid and Groom, it's the Bride and Groom. So comment below. Let me know what you guys think the actual pronunciation is, but I, I'm really excited for these low mat seats and they're small just for a fun sized person like me. We'll also be pairing the Brid seats with these OMP black harnesses. I was gonna do red, but I just, that was a little too much red. So let's go ahead and start moving forward. We're gonna rip out this interior and start installing everything else. Driver's seat, passenger seat is out. The back seats are out. The back, back of the back seat is out. And this top piece here, we have it already replaced. Uh, nothing's bolted down except these side guys here. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna try to fit the roll bar in here. We're gonna have to drill four holes for the plate and then we're gonna sandwich a plate on the back side. It's gonna be through bolts instead of nut certs, which I very much appreciate for my own safety. Oh, that's not gone. Maybe one side at a time? I think it's gonna go the other way. She's coming along a little bit further and we are there. We've got her all nut and bolted in. She's good and tight. We're gonna finish the back cards now and then we do the seats. Okay, you guys ready to take a look at this? Bing bong. <laughs> what do you want to ask Joe Power right now? What's up, baby? Take me out the dinner. Hey, yo. Rear seat delete is in. It has been trimmed for the half cage. Everything looks pretty good. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. Wow, what a transformation so far. I want to do seats, but I think first I'm going to jump to doing the door cards. And then I have a little bit of a surprise for the side mirrors that I've been sitting on for a little too long. So let's do the door cards and then I'll show you the surprise. A few moments later. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Thank you. <laughs> So you know how I said I had two cars coming this week? One has just arrived, and I don't know if I'd necessarily call it a car. The delivery guy is going to be here with my 2021 Ford Bronco in the next hour. I wanna finish tomato before the Bronco gets here, but you guys, I'm about to take delivery of my Ford Bronco. Since the Mustang's named Trader, what do you call a Bronco? The Bronco's not really like cheating though, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to put the camera down. I didn't show finishing installing the seats or the door cards, but it was well worth it. One, so that we could finish before the Bronco arrives and he's in the other room. He doesn't know what's coming right now. I didn't know what was coming today. But two, it came out so good. It came out so good. The inner child inside of me is screaming, you guys, this is my dream Subaru build. I've always want this and I feel like with the interior now, we've completed the Subaru build, aside from two. And we have to figure out the trigger issue of what's going on, but aside from that, she's complete. Just look at her. Oh my goodness, look how good this looks. The red brid seats with the Porsche lava orange, the GT3 RS color, the OMP black harnesses, Look at this gloss black half cage, the rear seat delete cards that came out really nice, the door cards. Uh, the one, one weird thing I will admit is the passenger side doesn't have window switches. But I guess you're the passenger, it's like touching stereo, you don't need to worry about that. The driver is in full control. <laughs> What a night and day difference interior made on this car. I'm looking at this like, oh my God, this is so cool. 
I'm such a tuner kid at heart. I always will be. I could stare at it forever, but I didn't forget. I almost forgot, but I didn't forget. The surprise, the thing I wanted to show you guys. Take a look at this. This is the before, right? Now, the after. These are JDM AF boy. These are hot boy points right there. Look at that. These are rally racing carbon fiber side mirrors made by RPG Racing Product Group. I've been sitting on these for a hot minute and I have installed them because as you guys know, tomato has been down for a while, but we have them installed now. The idea is that they're closer to the car for rally racing so you don't knock the side mirrors off. So super excited for these. These look sick. Thank you, RPG. Sincerely, thank you. And I do apologize it took me so long to get them installed, but one of my favorite pieces of the car. The tow truck driver is here. I have to see the Bronco for my first time. Let's go take delivery. <laughs> so, um, you bought a truck yesterday? Yeah. I just bought a truck too. <laughs> oh, I see it too. See it. It's here. It's December, but she made it. I have some updates, but more on that later. Let's take delivery of the Bronco. How was the drive? Good. You know who sent me a photo of this on the trailer? Who? Alex Troy. Really? <laughs> yeah. All I see is like a really like innocent Bronco that's about to get absolutely like abused by you. And probably Sandy too. Uh, all of us. We are all three guilty by association. What are you guys looking away for? Uh, no, I was looking at the driveway. <laughs> you gotta get that first jump out of the way, and then it's... <laughs> she just goes, I could do this now. <laughs> speed bumps right there, too. You could probably hit those at a good speed. Wait, you think we can catch air? Off the that? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, I do too. 100%. <laughs> you just gotta come in at the right angle. Everyone will be gone here in probably about 30 minutes, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Start, cold start. Oh, that's quiet. I couldn't even hear it start. <laughs> so the Bronco came all the way from Whitmore Auto Group in Pennsylvania. Thank you, Matt Beaver and Diana Wade for all your guys' help. She's here. Oh, I love the smell of the new car. I love the yeah. smell of wood, gasoline, fresh plastic, you name it. I should just make my own perfume line. Wood, gasoline, and fresh plastic. That's what we'll call it. Look at that back seats. Got room for my friends. This is so crazy. All right. Reverse. Let's back her off the trailer. That drilled the anti four sediment from Mary. Wait, this is massive and I really like it. You said you figured out how to do a burnout in your truck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can do this. Push the button once, traction control. Well, okay. that's a weird click. Push it and hold it. It should start saying advanced track off. That track off. <laughs> There's oh. not enough horsepower. I'm not going to do it. Trying. Oh, I was trying. That's a bummer. <laughs> we'll make it work. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's already one up on the vet right there. Oh yeah, it'll do a burnout. <laughs> I didn't think it would spin them. Hey, it did it. We christened the Ford Bronco. Oh, that's just the start. Thank you so much for everything. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Not gonna lie, I did not think that 2.3 liter eco poop was gonna be able to do a Bernie, but boys, we got one fresh off the tow truck from the dealership. Comment below, what do you want to see with this? We have some ideas. What when I uh Wait, pop the hood. 
Well, let me pull in first. I do think we see if we can get a little air with this up the driveway. We gotta do something fun since we just got it. Yeah. She has like a cute little turbo noise to her too. All right, park, I'm gonna have to learn all of this. I will admit there are some nice touches in this that I wasn't expecting. Like this little designed and engineered Ford badge here. Maybe this is dumb. This weathered leather Bronco key tag. I like it. It's the little things. I like being able to do it burn out fresh off the lot. All right, let's pop the hood. Uh, I think the reason why it doesn't do a burn-in is because the same as my truck, it's got a torque limiter when you're on the brake. Mm. We could just turn know, that off. Download I mean, it still it did a better burnout than your truck did. <laughs> <laughs> this poor car. You're already like <laughs> like halfway into the engine bay. I'm telling you, go get the HP tuners. <laughs> We're just doing a little measuring, you know, simple things when you get a new car. Yeah. Truck, sorry. Okay, I've driven this car for like a burnout. And I would already compare it. Okay, hear me out. A Jeep Wrangler has sex with a Forerunner. I'm thinking we start with something easy, you know, maybe wider fenders. I hear you can fit 37s if you just remove these two bars here, the, the rear one and then the front one. I mean, come on. Oh, I walked inside and took the bolt pattern of the F-150 to see if it was the same as the Bronco. I was gonna swap it before Sandy noticed. And I literally walked inside, came out, and it was pitch black out. But unfortunately, they're not the same bolt pattern. Before we go, I think we try to jump it. I think just up the little driveway, we try to see if we can get even the front tires to get a little bit of air at least. She's got 11 miles, we're ready to burn out. Well, that was about five of them. <laughs> and now we're gonna, we're gonna jump it. I bought the Bronco to be an off-road vehicle. I want to start doing a little bit more off-roady stuff and this was perfect and we'll see what we can do with it. Starting now. I think the YouTube title is going to be I wrecked my Bronco with five miles on it. Oh, it kind of got air. We need a bigger jump. Will I clear these? It's a Bronco. It's a bucking horse. <laughs> clear them. They're lucky you're just going over them. This is the most fun I've ever had at one mile per hour. <laughs> <laughs> but is it bad that I feel like I'm with Slim Diesel right now where I buy a brand new truck and then I just destroy it. I'm not trying to destroy it. I generally just want to have fun with it. But with that said, Sandy, you are the off-road guy. You I mean, did it feel tippy? You want to drive it? I'll drive it. Okay. <laughs> No, <laughs> no. It ain't going airborne. Yeah, not with that type of angle. All right, I think we gotta take this out to the desert. Yeah. The next day. Yes. Measurements were taken. And I might already have a motor for this truck. She might currently be sitting in one of my already running cars. If you uh, catch my drift. I love pushing platforms to their limits, and the Bronco is no exception. So uh, we'll start small. We'll start with a two inch wide body. We'll probably raise the suspension to a little bit of a lift kit, but high level, I would love to be a part of the development of a long travel kit. You guys remember the Hoonigan episode of the Bronco that went off the jump and caught air? That's what I want to do. But let me know if I'm going overkill with this. At the end of the day, I just want to produce the best, most entertaining content I can for you viewers at home. So let me know what you'd like to see. I have some really sad, unfortunate news. Um, James, our editor, who you guys know and love, who's been editing on the channel now for the past year or two, uh, was involved in a bike accident late last night. Um, he was riding home. It was, it was one of those electric bikes that go pretty quick. Uh, he was wearing all of his safety gear, which I think saved his life. But he was riding home, and um, all we know is that a black SUV pulled out in front of him, hit him, and then drove over him, crushing him, and then ran. It was a hit and run. Uh, so he is currently at the hospital. Um, he broke three ribs and damaged his organs, and last night went to emergency surgery and had a kidney removed. Um, he, he's alive, he's gonna make it, he's having a very hard time. So if you guys could comment something nice in the comments below, because I know he's going to be watching this video to make sure I do his editing justice, which James, I know you watching this right now hate my editing on this video. 
Um, but send him some positive words. Um, we're gonna work on trying to get him some kind of like GoFundMe or crowdsourcing that doesn't take too much of a percentage to help him with some of the medical costs. Um, because unfortunately with a hit and run, most of this, if not all of it's gonna fall on, on him and he's also diabetic and his pump broke when, when the SUV drove over him. So he has to get a new one of those. So just keep him in your thoughts and your prayers is, is all I can ask. Um, Troy and I already went by the hospital today to make sure he's doing all right. And he's still talking shit. So he's, I think he's gonna be okay, but it's gonna be a long road of recovery. James, we love you. We all wish you a speedy recovery. We're here for you. Um, and we'll do whatever we can to help. Now in James's honor, as he would expect with me buying a brand new car slash truck, we got a mod it. So I am headed to ADV Fiberglass right now to drop off the Bronco while I am gone at PRI for them to install a wide body kit. We're on the road, we go. Now we're looking at Neria 51 blue big bit <laughs> wait that's so funny <laughs> well what did i end up getting <laughs>